اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to look into some sample data from Data in Brief and see how did they do the analysis. Now, a number of times I've been asked to perform analysis on different kind of models. Now, in this particular session, we are going to search some data in Data in Brief and use that data to perform some analysis. Now, for example, I'm in looking for some sample data. So data in brief an open access journal provides you that opportunity to have the data that is published and then you can use that data for practice. Now in order to do so what I've got here is I've got the journal page I'll share this link in the description and let's say I search mediating. So I'll get some papers that have got mediating variable and they have used mediators to perform some kind of analysis or they've got mediating variable in their data. Now, once you've got this open, you can search or look into different papers and see what suits your requirements or what is your area of research. Now, in this case, I opened one of these here, this paper, and you can simply click PDF or you can look into this document here. This is the model they tested. Now I'm looking for the data. So where is the data? Right at the end, they have mentioned data availability. Now, if you click here, you'll go to, or you'll get to Mendeley. And therein, you can download this file. So what I'll do is I'll download it. Now that I've got this file here, I'm going to use Smart PLS since they used Smart PLS as well. In future, I might use different softwares with the same or from the same journal for different papers or different articles. Now I'm going to open Smart PLS. Now what I have to do is I have to click new project and let's say data in brief study one or session one create. Now first of all, I'm going to import the data file. Here is the data file. Import it. Now, once you have imported the file, go back, create the model. It is the PLS SCM model, or let's say we've got the model. Now we'll save it. Now we've got different variables. If you look here, where is the model? Here is the model. US job satisfaction, work to life balance or work life balance and intention to stay. Now, another advantage of this journal is that you have got these questionnaires with items and description. So if you are looking for a questionnaire and you can't find it, you can come into this or like search this journal for that particular variable and it's highly likely you will find the questionnaire with the sources. Now let me open the PDF and I've got POS here, JS, work-life balance and intention to stay. So where is POS? Here is POS. Select all. So you click the first one then shift button and the last one drag and drop onto the canvas. Enter. Now click here POS and left align. Now job satisfaction, drag and drop, move the indicators to the top, move it down slightly if you want, work life balance, drag and drop, enter and finally intention to stay, move it here. Now I'm going to connect them here. Now you click connect and then drag it from the predictor to the outcome, predictor to the outcome, predictor to the outcome. Now that this is done, the first step is 
always when we are using SCM, the first step is to check for the reliability and validity. That is the measurement model assessment. Click calculate PLS SCM algorithm and start. Now, the first thing, outer loadings. Are these outer loadings the same as what we have in the paper? Let's have a look. So this will give you an idea as to how to report your results as well. So what's the structure of your data analysis and results section? So here are the outer loadings for each of the items. So ITS is 0.811. Is that the case? 0.811. Let's do a random one. POS 7.804. POS 7.804. What about the next step? VIF. Where are these VIF results? So if you come here down, look at this VIF values. Outer model for each indicator 1.933. And here it is 1.933. What about CA, Cron Batch Alpha, Composite Reliability and AVE? So if you come here, this is your Alpha, Reliability and AVE. So we normally report the Composite Reliability row C. So JS, the Cron Batch Alpha is 0 0.850. Where is it? 0 0.850. Here it is 0 0.850. So the results are the same up till now. Now, where is the Farnell, Farnell and Locker criterion? If you come here, discriminant validity and Farnell and Locker criterion. Is it the same? ITS 0.821. Let's look at the results. ITS 0.821. What about HTMT, heterotrate monotrate ratio? If you look here, 0.726. This is your HTMT. Let's compare 0.726. Here it is 0.726. The rest of them are the same as well. Now, collinearity for the inner model, where are the collinearity? You can use them for common method bias as well. Again, inner model. Here's the list. Here is the matrix. They have reported the matrix. You can do the same point 2.289. And is this the same? Yes, 2.289. What about path analysis? That is to test the relationship, whether these relationships are significant or not. Now that you have up until this here, table six, you have reported the measurement model results, although this is for the uh, inner model, but you use it normally to for screening and cleaning of data. We report the VIF statistics to assess the common method bias. Now, where are the hypothesis results? Go back, click calculate, bootstrapping. Okay, normally 10,000 is recommended. For now, I'm going to stick with 5,000. Bias corrected. Let's keep it two tailed. And what did they do? Did they do 5,000 or 10,000? Have a look. If you go up here. Yeah, they did bootstrapping with 5,000 resamples. That is subsamples. So we are going to stick to 5,000. And let's start. Now, if you go here, path coefficients. The impact of GS on ITS is significant. The original sample or the path coefficient is 0.139. Let's have a look. 0 0.139, 2.547, 2. Point, not 2.547, but 2.561. Why is this? Or what? Why did the values change? Because you are doing bootstrapping. The random numbers generated by their sample may be slightly different in comparison to our sample. That's why you've got a different t statistics here. Look at the standard deviation, 0.0. 054. Okay, they haven't reported the standard um, deviation or standard error. But if you look here, the path coefficient is the same. More or less, the p values will be the same as well. And the t statistics slightly uh, deviating, very slightly deviating. Now, where are the indirect effects? If you look here, the specific indirect effects, because I've got two mediators here. Look at this, 0 0.087, 0 0.147, 0 0.087, 0 0.147. Up till now, all the values match. Now, moving on, let's see what else they have reported. So, how to report them? Just read through these results here, the description for each table. 
and this is how you will report your results as well now you've got total effects table if you want you can report this as well where are the total effects table or where is the total effect table here is here it is total effects so you can report this if you want but it's not required if you're reporting the uh, path analysis now where is f square and q square so let's go to f square first but f square will not be here so you have to go back click calculate plsscm algorithm and let's start i've got a video on the f square statistics as to what it means and i'll share it it in the description here is your f square 0 0.0 to 1.339 let's have a look the same now finally the q square for predictive relevance how relevant are the predictors in predicting the outcome you have to go to calculate pls predict cv pad for now i'm going just going to keep it default and let's start and you you're going to go to pls predict latent variable summary and here is or here are the q square values now in this case i see that the values have changed look at this the values are different now what could be the possible reasons for the difference in values now the options they have selected may be different than ours so if you read through the papers if they have given you the options that they have selected you can use the same ones but if they haven't well keep it default more or less uh, the results in terms of whether the predictors are relevant yes all the predictors are relevant in both the analysis now this is how you can use data in brief to get some sample data for practice run the model see how they have reported the results and similarly you can use this approach to report your results as well thank you very much